So this is a hockey puck. Uh, it's most commonly found in the net behind a Toronto Maple Leafs goalie. And it's exactly one inch thick, 25 millimeters. And the 25 millimeters is the thickness of a mason's knuckles and fingers. Remember I told you that's what gave us a one inch gap behind brick. Well, all right, if I take my brick wall, and before I put the brick up, I have my Tyvek or Tipar or my drainage material, and I put the hockey puck against it, and I put the brick wall against it, the hockey puck represents a hunk of mortar that's suspended in the wall. Everybody with me on this? And if the water leaks through the, the brick, it's going to run down the backside of the brick and hit the hockey puck and drain to each side. We don't develop any pressure because the water is doing what? It's draining away. If I have two hockey pucks, I don't care. If I have three and I now collect the water, I'm creating hydrostatic pressure. When that water is a half an inch thick, it's equivalent to a 35 mile per hour wind. I can get hurricane force winds in the absence of a hurricane simply if I don't drain the water. If I don't drain the water, I get insanely powerful loads. We call it hydrostatic head. This is from a wind tunnel at my alma mater. The, I, I graduated as an undergrad at, at the University of Toronto. We had the Institute for Aerospace Studies. And uh, they were sitting around and they didn't have any work to do because one of the politicians in the 50s canceled the Avro Aero project. And they decided to, you know, build mock-up houses and walls and blow air against them. And so anyway, um, these are the pressures for wind. And so you can basically figure out what the pressure in pascals is in miles per hour. So one inch of water is 250 pascals, and 250 pascals is a 45 mile per hour wind. I can get 80 and 90 mile per hour equivalent forces simply if I don't drain the water. That's like huge. <laughs>